Imagine you're flying in a jet aircraft. You see your house, your school, your library. But have you ever wondered how a jet aircraft flies? Or today we're gonna find out. Most jet engines work in a similar way. First, they bring in air. Second, they compress the air. Third, they mix in fuel and combust it to release energy in the form of heat. Fourth, they spin a turbine to make electricity for the inside of the plane. And finally, they accelerate the combustion exhaust through a nozzle to make thrust and push the plane forward. So the thrust force comes from combusting jet fuel pushing hot gases out the nozzle. This happens because of something called conservation of momentum. Now jet fuel is made of big, heavy molecules with a lot of mass. When the fuel is combusted with air, it breaks down into much smaller and lighter molecules, water and carbon dioxide. Since momentum must be the same, and each molecule is now lighter, and there are much more of them, they have to move faster. The faster these gases leave, the more thrust we get, and the faster our plane can fly. All right, so let's test this out. If I put fuel and air into my engine, I can simulate what would happen in a real jet. In this case, I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna pour some in and mix it up with the air and see what happens. Okay, so first things first, glasses on for safety. Next, if I ignite my fuel, we can see what will happen in a real jet engine. Fire in the hole! Let's take a look at what just happened. So when I lit my fuel, the flame propagated across the bottle and accelerated out the nozzle, giving me thrust. But what'll happen if I use a different fuel, like 70% isopropyl alcohol? Just like before, I'm gonna mix the 70% isopropyl alcohol with the air in the bottle so that we can ignite it and simulate the inside of a jet. All right, let's try this again. So in this case, I'm using the 70% isopropyl alcohol and we expect to see a bit of a different flame. Fire in the hole. So in this case, the bottle moved more slowly than it did with the 99% isopropyl alcohol. This is because the 70% isopropyl alcohol is less reactive. Because it's less reactive, the flame moves more slowly across the bottle. We call the speed this flame moves the flame speed. With a lower flame speed, we get less thrust out of the bottle. This idea of flame speed is very important for jet engines. So important that we're researching it here at Oregon State University. So let's hop over to my lab and check it out. This is the Combustion, Ignition, Radiation, and Energy Lab, or SIRE Lab, at Oregon State University. This is where I work. Come on in. Together with the Oregon State Propulsion Lab, we use state-of-the-art imaging technologies with lasers, ultraviolet, and infrared cameras to learn more about combustion so that we can help advance the cutting-edge combustion technologies used in aviation, propulsion, and energy generation. Back here, we're looking at the turbulent flame speed of jet fuels. We share these results with the Federal Aviation Administration and engine makers so that we can help advance the cutting edge next generation jet engines of tomorrow. The best part about this lab, we get to light things on fire for science. Today we learned that when fuel and air combust in a jet engine, they are accelerated out the back to make thrust, which pushes the jet airplane forward. We also learned that the faster a flame burns, the more thrust we can get. You can try and make propulsion like this at home with your own mini Alka-Seltzer rocket. In this case, the momentum comes from sodium bicarbonate in the Alka-Seltzer reacting with hydrogen in the water and shooting out the bottom.
There's a link in the description below with all the directions and materials to build your own rocket. Make sure to ask your parents for help and remember, safety first. If you live in Benton County, Oregon, you can come down to the Corvallis Benton County Public Library and pick up a kit to make your own rocket at home for free. Thanks for watching and like if you'd like to see more. Shoo! <laughs>